Anyways, I was just basically saying, you know, if uh, you're posting answers for, you know, trying to help other people, just try to be, you know, try to come correct with it, you know. If you guys see me get it <laughs> on people's cases, you know, I, it's, just, it's just showing the passion I have for this plant and what it can do for others. And if you do want to be a successful grower, you know, you need to follow the proper path. And so if uh, every time you guys see a problem, you know, I'm seeing this with a lot of new growers, they'll see a problem that they're having. Sorry, guys, about the lines. I took my, I set my glasses down. Uh, if you're seeing someone with having issues, you know, don't just right away post like, oh, just do a freshwater flush, just check the PPM, you know, on what's coming out and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, no, that's not, you know, don't just automatically flush your plants because you're just going to set yourself back. Figure out the problem. Once you figure out the problem, figure out the process to correct the problem and then correct the problem. Um, sometimes you do have to flush, but that's just not the answer to everything. And uh, that's what I see, you know, all the, a lot of new growers will post you know, oh, just flush, you know, or do this or do that, you know, like, you know, that's not the proper answer, you know, to, you know, tell them, you know, what, wh why is your reasoning for flush, you know, is it, you know, the, is the electrical conductivity in the soil, you know, too high or like, you know, like, you know, get scientific with it, you know, like a lot of these new growers are just learning off YouTube, which is fine and you can, but you know, really do your research, you know, learn the plant, you know, because you can learn just any type of plants and it involves this plant, you know, and uh, I don't know, I just, for me, I'm a straight up information type guy, you know, like you guys will probably notice from my videos, I say what I feel, um, you know, I, I'm drama free, sometimes people think, you know, I might bring drama, you know, by saying things, but I just say, I'm just saying what I feel, and I have facts behind what I say, if that makes sense. But anyways, uh, you know, I, <laughs> if I've uh, tore you a new asshole or something by commenting, you know, don't take it personal, man. Like, I, you know, I'm just seriously trying to help. And if you try to, you know, kind of throw curveballs at me, trying to put me down, you know, I'll, I'll bring it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, I... I, I I don't know, I have nothing to hide, you know, I show what I do, and uh, yeah, so, anyways, that's enough of that, just, you know, if you guys answer a question for other people and you're trying to help, which is awesome, just, you know, please try to come correct with it, don't just give a basic answer of just flush, you know, because, you know, you could very well have corrected it differently without flushing, but now that you told them to flush and they flush, now that you just cause stress on that plant, you just set them back, you know, a whole week while they're flowering, and now they just lost an ounce on their yield, or, you know, I mean, there's just a lot of variables that come into play, and just don't automatically say flush. That's all I got to say. So, anyways, uh, um, get back to the room. Um, this is, like I said, a 6,000 watt sealed room, um, vented hoods, two 8 inch fans. Um, CO2, I'll just kind of show you the construction of the room. Basically, I just, you know, took some one-by-ones, um, made just a simple frame, comes up, um, and then basically just staple the, the panda film. Um, and then I just basically make my doors with the Velcro zippers. Got one on each side. Kind of show you out here. So basically... Got the zippers out here. Let's see if I can turn this on. It'll turn on, all right. And uh, yeah, and then I usually have a temperature gauge that sits right there. Um, but like I said, I go through and I clean the whole room. All my wires come out of there, go. This is my little station right here. Uh, I'm replacing the uh, the little, uh, what do you call it? Fuck, I'm having a brain fart right now. It's the, Resistors here. If I have a, I do. Bear with me, and I'll show you. Oh come on! Hold on one second, guys. All right, all 
right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm medicated right now. I'm always medicated. You know, and if you guys ever need help, feel free to send me a question, and I'll do my best to help. You know, I'm going to tell you answers from my experience. And for the most part, I'm going to tell you facts. I'm going to be factual with it. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. So on these magnetic ballasts, sometimes they go out over time. That's the cool thing about these magnetics um, is that they last. They last a long time. But sometimes they need just kind of like a car. You know, you got to do some maintenance. So what I'm doing right now is I'm replacing their capacitors, I believe. I can't remember, though. But uh, I'm just replacing those on the other four. Um, so anyways, uh, I just got them sitting here. You know, I got a 12,000 uh, 12, K or 12,000 BTU air conditioner that sits on this rack here. Um, this is like my little power area. Um, got a little Helios 8 there that all the lights plug into. They come down, they go to the timer. I do the Helios 8 um, in my larger rooms without the timer and I just run into the trigger um, just in case because the, the timer's on the timers that you see on here, sometimes they go out, and so this is just a fail safe, I guess. Um, this right here is uh, just another timed unit that I plug things into. I normally will have my air conditioning. It'll sit just in this little corner here, come up, or no, wait, did I say CO2? I don't know what the fuck I said. <laughs> Anyways, my CO2 bottle will sit here uh, on the regulator, and I... Uh, It'll just come up a little tiny hole right there. My tube goes through, goes to the back side. Of, sorry, guys, that's fucking bright. Um, you can kind of see the fan there. Uh, maybe not. Okay, the fan right there on the wall just goes to the back side and blows in. And then just that's basically the construction of the room. So, anyways, uh, I wanted to put that out. I'll do another one of my 4K and here soon. I'll be harvesting my 8K here in about two weeks, and I will do a video there. Um, I really don't, I really don't like posting like all my rooms at once because there's a lot of uh, guys online that are the the plant count police, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, you know, I try, I stay within the laws uh, per location. I am a collective garden. Um, you know, I. Well, I'm not going to go into details, but um, per garden, I could run 45 plants, and I don't, you know. But anyways, there's all the the plant count police <laughs> where <laughs> they'll uh, see, like, maybe my nursery or something and be like, hey, you got, is that legal, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what, I don't really, none of this is federally legal, so <laughs> whatever. Um but anyways, uh, that's about it, guys. That's the construction of my 6K room. Um, hope this video didn't really drag on. Uh, I'll just label this as part two. Um, I'm going to set up my ballast here this week, uh, set those up, get the AC back up, get finished everything cleaning, uh, get the new CO2 bottle here, which is actually in my car. I just got it filled. Um, got my little reservoir here. This is how I feed here because I, I always run, I always run a trellis netting from side to side, usually from here over, um, and so it is kind of a pain in the ass. I do run bigger bushes in here because I do have a high ceiling. Um, it's about well, not super high, but maybe ten feet high. Um, so I do run bigger bushes, and so I have to crawl around. But how I do that is. I just have a little pump to my hose, go here, unravel it, goes into my reservoir, turn that bitch on, and I just go there and use it like a garden hose and feed and whatever. So, um, I think that's about it. I'll go ahead and show the construction of my 4K room so you guys can see that too and the 8K coming up. Alright guys, that's about it. Peace out.